Now then, we're going out for a little ride on Thunderbird 3. Thunderbird 1's tucked up in the garage. Right, I'm just getting this little beauty just before Christmas and the first opportunity I've really had to take it out for a little spin. It's got uh, nine miles on the clock. So I need to try and get this run in as quick as I can. Get the first service done and that's it all set up for the summer. Right out, so I'll give you me, me thoughts and me feelings. Um, I went and bought this little Givy little uh, gravel cord. It was over a hundred quid that, but it's pretty substantial. It's quite a bit, bit, good bit of kit. And I also got this small hugger here from Givy as well. Because the one that was on, although it had a one, it protected the, the shocker, but the rest of the stuff could get uh, covered. So there we are, let me start this up. Quite a nice little dash it's got, for the size of the bike. There we go. So a single cylinder, 313cc. Got my top box on from the uh, the XR, fits lovely straight on, which I'm quite happy with. Here we'll get on and we'll take her for a little ride. See how it goes. As you can see, oh sorry, we've got 14 mile on. That's the auto. See how many, much pep we've got. Range, 162 mile, that'll do me. Just getting on here, yeah. it's got a nice little riding position, nice seating position here. Yeah. I've actually put some little risers on as well, just to lift up the bars a little bit. They were sitting a bit low, I just got them off eBay. 30 mil I put on them and there's still, there's still enough space left on the, on the cables, which is, which is okay. I just like to uh, let them run a, a minute or two just to get the oil through and just get slightly start warming up just before I pull off. It's quite informative this uh, dash. You've got your uh, obviously your in, uh, gear indicator, neutral there and, and on the actual LCD. Uh, you've got your petrol here which is shown full. Your range which you can scroll through. You've got um, consumption, average consumption. That must be overall miles per gallon. Average speed. Your date, 16th of the second, 2019. And you're going to set up. That's for the miles per hour, kilometers per hour, and things like that, and setting up your clock. Your auto, it's done 14 miles. On the odometer. Trip one, trip two, which you can set. Engine, range. Going through it again, I just wanted to get back to uh, trip one, press and hold, and it zeroes that. Trip two, press and hold, and it zero that. The engine's 35, 34 degrees, and I'll leave it on range because I like to see the range. The ABS is flashing, obviously, that'll go off once we get moving, and uh, I just stole it there. Just making sure that it stalls. <laughs> there we are, the ABS is. It's uh, sorted itself out, calibrated itself, and away we go. Second gear, speedo, miles per hour. Well, there's one thing you notice on this straight away is that. Uh, <laughs> the wind protection is non-existent, obviously with this small um, small screen it's got on there, it's just a little fly screen. I think I'll be getting, getting shot of that and 
see what Kivy's got to offer uh, in an extended screen up here. I mean, it's quite a uh, nifty little motor just for bombing about, a little 300cc. Suspension is very uh, plush. Um, what I mean by that is that it's it's quite forgiving. It, it, it absorbs a lot of the bumps, but I think it'll be a bit uh, squishy and a bit wallowy for for handling wise. But it wasn't meant, wasn't built for that. I think it's just been built for a commute, an all-round commute, and do some um, some light off off road and like green lane in and that, which is really ideal. The style on this is fantastic, it's great, it's uh, very much like the, as the name suggests, the JS. Going uphill now, and it's, it's got some pull, obviously I'm just in fifth gear. So it's not lacking, it's not a pretty super bike pull by uh, any means, but just for a little commuter, it's, it's, it's great. I've bought this pre predominantly for when um, the weather's a bit inclement and that and I just need to get about. When the missus and doors got the car and I just need to bomb about somewhere, I'll just jump on this. Just keep on top of it with the ACF 50 and the cleaning through the winter time and that and I can use it all weather. Quite uh, good for bumming around these little. Uh, I mean, the, the roads aren't that not well paved. As you can see, they're starting to break up, a bit uneven. It's just uh, absorbing everything in its stride. Just bobbing along here at 5,000 revs, nearly 50 miles an hour. Up to 60, no problem at all. Yep, it's not getting unsettled. Quite like this. Take any prisoners, was he? Bugger. Well, the big bugger. Years ago, he used to come down here, and there's a road, I'll show you in a moment, where you think the road goes straight on, but it doesn't, it turns to the right. Many a times we've been out with our pals and that when we used to ride the little mopeds, the 50, 50cc mopeds. I've seen them going straight on many a time. Luckily it is a bit of a truck and a bit of road that goes straight ahead, so when I'd been a, a farmer's field or a hedge, it would have been quite comical. That's that bit of road there, dead end. Straight down there they used to go. You can see all the salt and the dust on the way. It's just salt, not dust actually, on the road. It's where it's dried out. Salted all the roads. As I say, it's quite nimble enough to nip past things. I'm 
just taken this up to uh, five or six thousand revs uh, because I'm running it in. Don't want to overstress the engine, so I'm just bumping it about when it's uh, been able to open it up fully. You know, I've got a little bit more as well. It's nice little run this, just come out of the uh, Northumberland village of Stamford. It's quite mild for the uh, middle of January, uh, sorry, middle of February. It's, um, it's about 12 degrees at the moment. It's probably at its peak today since about two o'clock. Just trying to be a bit uh, over cautious. Obviously the tyres are, are brand new as well and so is the brakes. Need all them bedded in yet. And this is ideal to do that, little slow little corners scrub the tyres off. The vibrations aren't that bad on you, obviously you get a little bit of vibration with it being a single cylinder engine, uh, but they're not too bad. As you can see the roads aren't that, that great but it's, this is just taking it in straight. Just coming down to a place now uh, called Whittle Dean. A small um, series of little reservoirs serving the Tyneside area. I'll go straight ahead, I've never been down there for a lot of years. There's usually fishermen around here, just uh, wonder if this guy's going to get out and uh, take some photographs. Yeah, some fishermen over there looking on that lake. Any on this one? Tin lake, or just little, uh, little reservoirs. Little water tank areas. It's very nimble and light. This I think it's only 160 odd kilograms. Uh, that's wet. Stocksfield. The gravel in the road there. Incline here and straight up, straight up and around a little hairpin. Not a bother whatsoever to it. The brakes are a bit, um, I wouldn't say they're the best, but they're, they're, they're adequate. Um, I reserve judgment till they've bedded in properly. I think I need to adjust that back brake pedal. It's uh, it's a bit it's a bit far far down over. Come before this way. Let's get on the the bypass and see what it's like. See how far fast we can get. I'm 
Rocznelli 70 mile an hour. Six and a half thousand revs. Plenty more to come. So it's got to be touching on uh, getting 80 plus towards 90 mile an hour. There's plenty there left. Well, I thoroughly enjoyed that little blast. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Just coming in through a um, little bit of a build up area here. Let's see how it behaves. No doubt there'll not be any issues because it's uh, such a friendly little bike to tell the truth. The throttle response is just nice and smooth. Clutch is nice and easy. The gears are snicking in. The seat's quite comfortable actually, and it's a nice sitting position. Legs are nice and relaxed. Not too tight, about 90 degree angle. And since I lifted the uh, handlebars up, it's a nice sitting position, upright sitting. Like you would expect on an adventure style. The uh, Council and Highways Agency has put these, uh, you'll find them all over the UK now. They put these what they call traffic calming humps. Where they don't, uh, <laughs> don't affect the motorbikes, you just drive to one side of them. But as you can see, the cars, they try to straddle them with the wheels to minimise the bumps. They're pretty effective for the cars, they're not slowing them down in build-up areas. We find a lot of build-up areas now, they're trying to restrict the speed limit down to 20 miles an hour. You see there's a lot of dive on this when you put the brakes on. Here the forks on that... Um, Oh, where's she going? You know, I haven't got that much dampening in them. Yep, very nice in the build-up areas. I think, yeah, it's uh, no problem on banks. That was like a bit of a quite of an incline. Just to summarise on the bike, it's obviously not not a, a, a twelve hundred adventure bike, but take it for what it is. And it's a very able, comfortable, and nimble little urban bike with a very good suspension range where you can take it off road, and you can do um, a little bit of green leaning on it. Throttle's nice and light, smooth, the gearbox is smooth enough, brakes are adequate, sitting position is very comfortable and it's got enough power to get past over to overtakes. As I say, if you take it for what it is, it's an excellent little bike, well done BMW. much better this one once it's run in. Not that it needs to be much better, it's quite good fun just uh, pulling along at this speed. 60 mile an hour, national speed limit on these roads. Can't really go that all that much faster. a little bit more rough rough load to see how the suspension handles it Appreciate slowing down for his little woofer. 
This it scares the dog. So it is like I quite <laughs> I quite like this. It's brilliant. Potholes there, straight over them. Rough road, straight over it. Drives through it. Careful on the wetness. Yeah, it's a little bit dirty now. So there you go, there you have it. There's Thunderbird 3. Going in the garage. Need to wash shortly. A little bit splatter there, but apart from that. It's very unusual this with the engine. You see the engine here. It's the head's the other way around. It's got the bloody exhaust coming out the back. It's unusual. It doesn't make any difference to the riding that I don't think, but a bit unusual. This foot uh, foot brake here, it's pretty low. You're nearly on tiptoe trying to put it on. I need to have a look at that to see what I can do. I don't know if it'll come up any further. It looks like it's hitting the stop and there's no adjustment. I'll have a look at that, see what I can get, just make that a little bit more comfortable. But you see the styling of it, very much JS, like the big brother JS. Single disc on the front. The tyres seem fine. I don't know what uh, type they are. Torrents. Uh, Metzler, Torrens, there's the fine them. Yeah, see them on the back. Here you go. It's a little bike, I'm pottering about. <laughs>